Good morning. Congratulations on yet another one-eyed view of the world from uh, the couch. Which bit today? Shane, did your team get up yesterday? Oh, okay. Um, in all honesty, I was uh, going to uh, barrack for uh, the Tigers, but I saw uh, Richard Di Natale on Sky News, and he uh, he came out for the Tigers. So I switched to the Swans and see what it got me. Even the Swans weren't playing; it's even worse. Oh, sorry, sorry, not the, not the Swans, the uh, the Crows, mate. Fair enough. See, no, no, you've got any I, reasons? If you don't have a side. Any reasons to bear Good on you, mate. Now, is it is there anything you could say that's positive about the Trump administration so far? Yes, that they haven't started a war yet. Okay, that's a positive. Uh, but they've got more failures than successes at the moment. Uh, I think even they admit that. I, I don't disagree with you. Just watch yourself yeah, there. No, I just saw that myself. <laughs> um, the other thing that I noticed about being outside the ABC is all these cigarette butts, which uh, which alarms me a little bit. Um, I, I have heard that uh, the the House of Reps in the States has managed to pass uh, quite a number of bills, but uh, many of them have been blocked in the Senate, which is a bit unfortunate because the Republicans uh, do have a majority in both houses. So uh, it's, it's not all Trump's fault. Uh, there's uh, a lot of blame to go around. Um, do you remember a name, Aya Hijazi? She was a, uh, an Egyptian lady that was uh, a, an American Egyptian who was in jail for a couple of years in Egypt over some trumped up matter. And uh, she was languishing in prison until Trump had a word with Al-Sisi and uh, she, she was released. Uh, look up Aya Hijazi when you get a chance. Uh, the, you know, the, uh, Hijasi. Hijasi. Yeah. Um, th there are things that uh, that go under the radar. Um, look, my my view was I, I wasn't so much barracking for Trump to win as I was barracking for Hillary to lose. So uh, I, I'm I'm not a one-eyed uh, Trump supporter, but I am a supporter of the idea of trying to drain the Washington swamp. I think you've missed the point that Hillary still won. I, I, she I, won three I, million more votes. So I, I think that's Trump's problem. I, I, that so many, like, because it was such a it, historically, that's a very large victory. Sorry, indeed, victory indeed. The, and I think that's been part of his problem. That if he'd had a more popular, if it was much closer, there wouldn't be so, he wouldn't be upsetting so many people so quickly. <laughs> I think that's. I don't think that's and I, discussed enough that that point makes it difficult for someone who wants because he is a change agent he uh, wants yep, to change yep. and that's there's nothing wrong with that in the it's, it's whether you've got the a more general support i think that's why i say the senate has, has runs into problems because i think the senators because they're on six year terms they see it a bit more broadly than say a house guy or girl who's got they may have been in a redistricted district and which you've seen like if there's a supreme court hearing in the next week or two about yeah. redistricting. Yeah. Um, I think that's that's part of the issue that the, the Senate is going like what was it one of the senior members of the Senate just said well on Obamacare we said we, we just said we have to repeal I don't care effectively I don't care what we've got and that's not what you want in legislation any legislation. You're right Good on your <laughs> it, Speaking of global problems getting a cab around here is, is a bit of a problem mate. <laughs> Good on you. Have a good trip. Bye, See ya. Bill Thompson for Outside Insiders.